everybody this is ananya and this one video is about popovers in the filemaker 13 learning series so there is a bit of a buzz regarding the new object that is this popover and so that's what we are going to discuss in this video before that uh, these are some of my contact details you can connect me via linkedin or uh, mail me and the last one is my skype id so this is the agenda of the video and the first thing is I'll tell you what is a popover then I'll show you the popover button and uh, tell how it's created then there are some uh, uh, three or four ways I'll show how to utilize the popover and then the last one is a summary so at its core popover buttons are a space folding device they minimize the need for additional layouts and they create a contemporary user interface they allow the user to have more objects on the same layout thereby providing a clean uh, simple interface so that's a bit of a information and we can go back to agenda and, and I'll show you how this is done so there are two buttons over here and uh, the first one is a popover button that is a basic button and when we click on this product uh, enter product that will expand the body of the pro um, product details and this one is called as a popover this entire thing is known as a popover so uh, as you can see this has two portions one is the popover button and this one is the popover bo body so what happens and uh, how can we uh, create this I'll show you once we go to the layout mode so first of all this button is just uh, like a normal uh, file maker button which was pr uh, previously present and we can include or insert a popover button from that place only in windows there is a uh, down arrow provided so we can select the popover button from there or there is also another option that is uh, the insert and from here the popover button we can select and go so when we expand this and that can be done by double clicking it will show us the body of the popover and we can create this. this this can be designed as per your choice choice so what happens is you just click this and this provides us a crosshair icon and we can create this uh, according to our custom size this gives us a pro prompts us a popover setup dialog and in the popover setup dialog we are given these options the first one is the title of the popover body and you can change it to anything as per your choice or based on a field or a calculation and that gets committed after that these are the four uh, ways the body of the popover can be there so I can change the directions and the file maker will show the direction according to the space that is present in the window and that goes in a uh, and in an anti-clockwise manner so if we do not have space on the left hand side it will try to adjust it on the bottom a uh, top hand side but if that doesn't find any space in the bottom side in the top side that then it will go to the right hand side and so on so accordingly it will adjust uh, depending on where the space it, where wherever space it uh, is available and we can have the popover body in there and the third thing is the setting of the script triggers so yeah we can assign script triggers to the but uh, popo body and uh, these are all available so normally uh, however we do our scripting can be done in here and that will work so uh, this is the popover body and we can change the appearance of it we can select the popover the popo content in the popover content also there is a fill color so we can change the color we can change uh, the line color there is a shadow effect which we can do here and in the no normal popover itself the whole area we can change the color in here we can provide a shadow so that it will appear like it's popping out of the window so that gives us a m more desirable effect so these are the things that you can do on the design end and uh, change it according to your choice you can name the popover in here uh, the popover button that is so that's how it's done 
and if we go back it will show us our body and we can put fill fields in here and uh, uh, anything basically that we can do on a layout we can uh, implement this on a popo body based on the limitations that are not allowed on the popo so th that's how it's done the example which is there that is the enter product the second button so here i have included a slide inside a popover and uh, this works in a manner that you can insert the details of the product and then go into the next slide and see the product details so uh, this tells how we can create a popover how we can include it in our layout and how do we change the popover settings and the design part of it